Linnaeus was the scientist who gave two kingdom system of classification. In this system of classification, living organisms are classified into two categories only or two kingdom we can say and that is plant kingdom and animal kingdom. By some decided criteria, living organisms are divided into plant and animal. If the living organism having cell wall, then it is included in the plant kingdom. If no cell wall, they were classified as an animal. If no ability of locomotion then it is plants and if able to locomote this is animal kingdom in the plants they are autotrophic in mode of nutrition and animals are heterotrophic in mode of nutrition. So these are the basic criteria according to which the living organisms are classified as a plant and animal. But in this two kingdom system of classification, there are many drawbacks were found. If we say about the euglena. The euglena having ability to locomote as it is. It has the flagella for the locomotion but it has ability to produce its own food. So euglena cannot be classified as a plant or animal in this category. If we talk about the fungi, it's a plant but again not able to carry out photosynthesis and it is a heterotopic, simply saprophytic or parasitic in mode of nutrition. So fungi cannot be classified in the plant or animal according to these criteria. There is no information regarding the prokaryotic organisms like bacteria and blue-green algae in this system of classification. As well, there was no information of the viruses in the two kingdom system of classification. And that's why the two kingdom system of classification was not accepted in those days. Three kingdom system of classification was given by Haeckel. According to this system of classification, living organisms are classified into three categories. The first Protista, then Plantae or Plant Kingdom, and Animalia or Animal Kingdom. Haeckel was the first person who classified the unicellular organisms separately from plants and animals. He includes all algae which are unicellular. Then fungi, bacteria, that is monera, and protozoans, these are unicellular animals, are included in protista by the Haeckel in this system. Now, four kingdom system of classification. Copland was the scientist who classified living organisms into four different categories in 1956. In this system of classification, living organisms are classified into four different categories or kingdom in which Monera, then Protista, Plantae or Plant Kingdom and Animalia or animal kingdom were included. Copland classified the monera. These are the prokaryotic organisms separately from the protista. 
earlier we studied that Linnaeus gave two kingdom system, Haeckel gave three kingdom system and now the Copland giving four kingdom system of classification. Here Monera include all prokaryotic organisms and this Monera are also called Mycota by some scientists. In this category, all kind of bacteria and blue-green algae, that is cyanobacteria, are included here in this category called Monera. So, in the examination, we do ask who first used the term Monera and classify the organism separately like bacteria and blue-green algae. And in such case, answer must be Copland. Thank you.